Hey everybody, Ron Kaufman here. An article came out recently on a very interesting site called mycustomer.com, which says how customer service teams can help tackle the loneliness epidemic in 2022. Take a look at this. It's been predicted that up to 75% of all customer service calls will be made out of loneliness by 2026. What can organizations do to ensure they're combating this challenge in a sincere and effective manner? My team said to me, Ron, what do you think about this? That's what this video is about. First and foremost, I don't think that's actually the right word. When we talk about combating the challenge, obviously what's needed here is a greater sense of care, not necessarily one of combat. And yet, you are running a call center probably for a commercial organization. Let me give you some examples of what it is that we've discovered. In the healthcare space, 20% of seriously chronic conditions take up to 80% of admissions in emergency departments. And sometimes people are coming in off the street simply because they're lonely and they want some attention. And so then there was a concern in the emergency departments that says, if we give them that attention, it's just gonna encourage them to come back. But it turns out that the data says that that's absolutely incorrect. This terrific book called Compassionomics, the revolutionary scientific evidence that caring makes a difference, found in one clinically controlled, data legitimate study that when the people in the emergency department took the time to extend authentic listening, compassion, and care, those people actually came back less. Now here's another example. The Singapore Prime Minister's office gets calls on a regular basis from elders who are living at home, they're lonely, they're looking for somebody to talk to, and so they pick up the phone and they call the Prime Minister. Of course, the Prime Minister's not gonna pick up the call, but there are people in the office who field these calls every day, and they face the same situation. Do we stay on the phone? It's a Singapore citizen. We are the Prime Minister's office. Do we extend our compassion and a long conversation? I'm sorry, they're busy. They've got a lot of other things they need to deal with. They do not have time for a long and extended call, but what they do have is the ability in that moment to use the tone of voice and use the language that says, I hear you, you matter to me, I care about you. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna have time to be able to have a conversation any longer with you today, but there are some resources that I can point you to. And then they're able to point them to various call support hotlines. And even now today for younger people, there are hotlines for care that are all done by messaging and texts. Because a lot of young people who are lonely, who are frustrated, who are disappointed, who are depressed, they don't actually wanna to talk to somebody, they wanna <clears throat> talk to somebody. And the Prime Minister's office has those links and is able to provide people access to those resources. Now, some of you are saying, but wait, I am in a commercial situation and we do need to make money, et cetera, et cetera. So let me show you one more thing before we wrap up here, which is in response to this article, how do we handle, I wanna highlight the Zappos culture. Zappos is an online shoe and clothing store site that was created by a man named Tony Shea, who's unfortunately since passed away, but it's got this incredible culture. And one of the things that's interesting about the culture at the call center, because remember it's entirely online, is they don't so much focus on call handling time, like how fast can we get rid of this customer? They focus on creating an emotional connection. And they've discovered that every time they create that emotional connection, that causes a greater sense of loyalty for people who are actually purchasing as customers. Good business strategy. But what about the people who are just lonely, who don't plan to buy any shoes or anything else? It turns out that once again, if you take the time to give somebody at least a moment, genuine personal attention, it fills their emotional bucket. They appreciate it. They're fed by it. They're fueled with it. And then the fact is they don't call back as often. Ron Kaufman telling you what I think. I'm interested in the comments and hearing what you think. Thanks for watching this video. Your dedication to serving better and caring more makes the world a better place for everyone. For more uplifting ideas, practical insights, and free resources, please subscribe now.